Here, let's go to the expert advisors tree on the left in the navigator section, drag that file onto your chart. And over here, make sure that allow live trading and allow DLL imports are selected as we talked about in the dependencies video and go into inputs. Here we have some things that can be changed and some things that shouldn't be changed unless absolutely necessary. For instance, project name is also used inside comments within the EA. So therefore you can change this to something else if you'd like to use a different identifier. You need to leave protocol set to TCP, host name set to asterisk, and push port, pull port, and pub port all set to these values unless there is a reason for them to be changed. And these changes need to correspond with the changes you've made in your uh, client application as well. Then we have certain order specific parameters, maximum number of orders, maximum lot size, maximum slippage, permissible per order, and published market data set to false by default. Published market data instantiates the component of the server EA whereby it begins publishing information about symbols preselected in the file. For more information on this, please visit the Algorithmic Trading with Python, ZeroMQ, and MetaTrader YouTube playlist on the DarwinX YouTube channel for more in-depth examples and usage criteria for this particular feature. And that's it. Once you've got everything configured, you can click on OK, and that will set your EA up for first use. It's also good practice to visit the Experts tab in case there are any errors that surface. If there are, then this is a good place to know how and where they surfaced and to locate and diagnose them correctly. That's it. Your environment is now set up with communication possible between your external programming environment, in this case Python, and MetaTrader 4 that is sitting there waiting and listening for commands from your external environment. As always, if you enjoyed this presentation, please do consider sharing it with your social networks, colleagues, co-workers, and friends. And do subscribe to the DarwinX YouTube channel so you remain up to date with all future videos that will be released in this series and other topics discussed on DarwinX. Thank you very much for your attention. See you next time.